factors. Yes. So here, letter A is used for making three different sounds. Letter A is used for making three different sounds. The first one is called A. A. Second one is O. O. Third one is A. Okay. A. O. A. Are the three sounds. Okay. So in F A R, the sound is Fa. Fa. Because R is a silent in that. Okay. R is a silent there. So it is pronounced as a Fa. Fa. Now, B A L M. Again, L is silent. L is silent. So how should should say that? Ba. Ba. A. Right? Ba. C A R D. Car. Car. Again, R is silent in that. Right? Then L A S T. Last. Last. A. Last. Right? Next, G L A S S, glass, A, ah, glass, M A S T E R, master, master, A, ah, master, A R M Y, army, army, R is silent, right? Army, T A T A S K, task, T A S K is a task. Right? So, fa, ba, ka, last, glass, master, army, task. Right? The second one is a letter A is pronounced as O. For example, F A L L is fall, fall, not a fa. Right? It has to be pronounced as fall, or fall, M A L L. Mall, M A L L, mall, S H A W L, shawl, or shawl, A U X I L I A R Y, auxiliary, auxiliary, not auxiliary, auxiliary, F L A W, flaw, F L A W, flaw, C R A W L, Crawl, C R A W L, crawl, G A L K, talk, talk, not talk, talk, A U T O M I M O B I L E, automobile, automobile. Okay, so in all these eight words, letter A is pronounced as a long O, like fall, mall, shawl. Auxiliary, fall, crawl, talk, automobile. Right? Now here, A, B, J, E, C, T, I, V, E, it is known as adjective. Adjective. A. Adjective. A, R, R, O, W, arrow. Arrow. A, R, R, O, W, arrow. A D A M A N T adamant adamant a adamant A V E N U E avenue avenue a avenue A T O M atom not atom atom okay it's called as atom A D V O C A T E advocate advocate Right? Then T A P tap a tap C H A T chat T A P tap C H A T chat. Right? So in these words it is pronounced as a a. Right? So now I will say these words one by one and you need to repeat these words after me. Okay? So we will start with the a words long a fa ba car 
last glass master army task okay so now we will go with the o words the long o fall mall shawl auxiliary flaw crawl chalk automobile third one is a words a like adjective arrow adamant avenue atom advocate tap chat right okay now i will keep the screen the same for another minute so that you can go through these words again and again right we need to be very careful with the pronunciation because pronunciation is very important when we use english as a language right so observe these words and practice it along with the friends right it's a very good thing to do So the next piece, let us converse. So we will uh, listen to a conversation in between to a boy and a girl over here. We will listen to that first, and after that, I will give you the wordings, the script of this. Okay? You can practice with somebody at home or your friends in the neighborhood. You can include it as a game, right? You are doing these kinds of conversation with every lesson. Every lesson we have this, isn't it? Yes, we can use it as a game also. Doesn't matter. Or once when, he, when the school gets reopened, we can use there also, right? So we will listen to this now. Clear? Yeah? Let's converse. Read the following conversation and enact it out with your partner in the class. Chakri, Sita. Did you borrow any book from the school library last week? Yes. I took a collection of stories. Did you like these stories? Well, I liked them. But the story I liked the most was about King Midas. Tell me about it. King Midas was very greedy. He wanted everything that he touched to turn into gold. God granted his wish. So, his foot, clothes, and even his daughter turned into gold. Oh, what a pity! It shows that God punished him for his greed. You are right. We should never be greedy. So now we have listened to this conversation. Uh, we need to practice this conversation also, right? So uh, I will give you the wordings of this conversation. So that, uh, yes, we can uh, practice it ourselves. Okay.
after the platter converts, it's a time for the rhyme time. We have got a very rhyme here, right? So, shall we listen to that first? After listening to that, I will give you the wordings, the script of it, so that uh, you can uh, practice it yourself, sing aloud at home also. Okay. Rhyme time. Read aloud the following poem and then recite it in a group. While reciting, note the rhyming words used in the poem. I like to read poems and stories all about witches, dragons and fairies. The events are always exciting. The palaces and courts are inviting. I roam in my thoughts and wonder when will I reach the world yonder. My imagination flies with wings. Immense joy, glee and cheers all this bring. Okay, so we have listened to that and now I will give you the uh, wordings of this particular rhyme for you to practice it at home, right? Rhyme time, there are some question answers. Yes, based on your understanding from the above poem, answer the following questions orally. Right? So, what attracts the poet the most? What was that attracting the poet the most? Fairy tales with the witches, the dragons, and the fairies attracted the poet the most. So, fairy tales which are about the witches as a character. Dragons are there just as one what we have seen in the poem, huh? in the, the basic, basic lesson point, right? Then uh, fairies will be there. That is what the, uh, the poet likes the most, right? Second question, how does the poet fly without any wings? How does the poet fly without any wings? Answer, in the imagination of the poet flies. So, the poet was able to fly not because he had any wings or so, but uh, he flew with his uh, wings of imagination. Okay. So, he had a, uh, uh, he was imagining as if he was flying. Right. Third one, underline the rhyming words he used in the poem. But what are the rhyming words that we came across in the poem? Stories, fairies, exciting, inviting. Wonder, yonder, wings, brings. So, what are they? Stories, fairies, exciting, inviting, wonder, yonder, wings, brings. Right? They are the rhyming words. So, now we will read these questions once again. What attract the poet the most? Fairy tales with the witches, the dragons, and the fairies attracted the poet the most. How does the poet fly without having any wings? The imagination of the poet flies. Underline the rhyming words used in the poem. Stories, fairies, exciting, inviting, wonder, yonder, wings, brains are the rhyming words, right? So now, I will keep the screen the same for another minute so that we can read these questions and their answers once again, right?
Okay, now we'll go on to the next question. Fourth one, which line of the poem do you like the most? Repeat it. So, which is the line that you like the most in the poem? You have to repeat that line. What is that line? Yes. I roam in my thoughts and wonder is the line of the poem that I like the most. I roam in my thoughts and that wonder. Okay. So now I will keep this uh, screen also for a minute so that you can have a look at this question and the answers given. Right. <laughs> 